Good evening, I'm Chris Cunney, and, and I'm also a uh, candidate for sheriff. And uh, I just want to talk for a few minutes about uh, <clears throat> what Paul, I'm just going to mention what Paul said. We, we were fortunate in this city to have Mike Kennedy for 30 years. Uh, I think Mike Kennedy will go down as the greatest sheriff in the, in the, in the state of California uh, for what he's done. And I was honored to be Mike's under sheriff. And uh, Mike came to me a couple of years ago and said, based, I've been following your career, Chris. I think you'd be a good sheriff. Why don't you come work for me as your under sheriff? Took me about 30 seconds or less to say yes. But let me back up. I'm, I'm a native San Franciscan. I grew up in, in the Mission District. I, uh, I spent the last 30 years in treatment and police and in law enforcement work. I have, and I admire the, the, this club for the work you do for, for the people in this part of the city. I, uh, I, I spent 17 years as a police officer on the streets. I walked the beat on 6th Street for many years. I, I worked in the Mission, I've worked in the Haight, and I've worked downtown. And I've crossed 6th and Market into the Tenderloin a lot of times. And, and worked, did a lot of work at the Osnob Center. Was appointed by Governor Gray Davis to work in the prison system with addict and alcoholic prisoners. I did that for seven years. I, I monitored prisoners being paroled into programs out on the street and then monitored their parole while they were on the street. So I think my 30 years of experience, without going into it all, uh, culminates into, I think, is the experience needed for the sheriff of San Francisco. And I would ask you to take this election seriously. There has not been a sheriff's race in San Francisco for 30 years. So a lot of people don't even know we have a sheriff, and the people that do know don't know what he does. So I'd ask you to pay attention and, and look up chriscunny.com and, and study what the sheriff's department does. And I think Paul Miyamoto represented well of a lot of the good work that goes on in the department. I believe what sets me apart from my other two candidates is, is leadership and, ex and relationships and experience. I have strong relationships in the city across the board, from community leaders to city government to elected to Sacramento, to Los Angeles, in the state prison system, and we need all those strong relationships. I've shown the leadership. Let me talk about the Walden House for a minute. In 2004, I was asked to take a lead from the city and go into the Walden House and take it over. Alfonso, who had started the Walden House 40 years ago, died suddenly. The Walden House was in some serious, serious trouble. It's a $52 million a year operation. I took six months off. I went into the Walden House working in partnership with the Compass Group, working in partnership with the Charles Schwab Foundation. I hired a new CFO, I hired a new CEO, I reconstituted the board of directors. Uh, the Walden House today is thriving. It's the largest substance abuse treatment program in the state of California, in, this, in corrections and on the street. And I'm proud of the work I did there. Uh, again, I believe Mike Kennedy recruited me to be his undersheriff because of my experience and my leadership. Uh, it's a large department, there's a lot of employees, it takes leadership, it takes experience, and again, it takes a lot of relationships, and I have those relationships. And uh, So I'm honored to be here tonight. I'm honored to, to be a, a San Franciscan with the opportunity to run for sheriff, uh, and I hope to have your support, and I, uh, I'll just end it at that. I don't know how much time I got left, somebody had a quick you question. Got a minute, you got a minute and a half, anybody got questions? I like this question. Yes, sir. <laughs> The politics of being a sheriff. The politics of being sheriff? Well, let me say that the politics of the sheriff is elected and it's a political office. And I think that uh, as a political person, to be in the sheriff, it's, it's inevitable. San Francisco is a political city. I don't think there's more political, anything more political than the San Francisco Police Department. And let me tell you, I ran the Police Officers Association for eight years as part of my uh, resume. Uh, I worked every day with Mayor Willie Brown. I worked every day with Chief Fred Lau, Chief Earl Sanders. So I get the politics. But let me say this, public safety trumps politics. Public, public safety, is in my, let me say this too, thanks for the question. Public safety includes treatment, rehabilitation, and consequences. It's all the same to me. It's, it's not apples and oranges. It's not what, one or the other. And, and uh, So that's a long answer to your question. I've been around the city. I know City Hall. I know it's political. Thank you. Thank you.